it's finally egg retrieval day and I'm in the car with Robert. We are flying to get this procedure done because we're late. <clears throat> As usual, that's always how we are. So hopefully that doesn't cause these doctors and nurses too much inconvenience. They'll be fine. So I was supposed to have my egg retrieval three days ago. Sorry about the bouncing camera, by the way. Um, but for some reason, I was a really slow responder to the stim medications, which did not happen last time. And instead of having 10 days of stims, I had 13 days of stims. And I was even on a higher dose of medication because they wanted to get uh, maybe a few more eggs than what I got last time, which was 10. And I'm not even sure that's gonna happen either. So yeah, I don't know what happened with me this time. I have to say when you don't have like a ton of follicles though, like you're not really super uncomfortable. And I've heard of people being like very, very uncomfortable before the egg retrieval, but I'm pretty much fine. I mean, there's like a little bit of like pressure, it feels like kind of full down there, but I mean, that's it. I really, even last time, you know, I really didn't feel too bad before. So um, yeah, besides being extremely tired and I can't wait to be laying on the couch sleeping for the rest of the day, um, I feel great. <laughs> so, okay, there's lots of traffic. All right, we are going to navigate our way to the clinic and we'll see you guys there. Hey, this is actually a lot easier than last time. Like I was shaking last time, but I'm good now. I got my IV, not so bad, and I'm just waiting for Dr. Khan to come in and then we'll start. So, yay. A little bit less, but yeah, so we got 10. I'm yeah, very yeah. consistent, except it took three extra days to get the same amount. Yeah, so that's good. I How you feeling? That's good. I just hope they're all mature and they all because we did pretty well last time out of 10 yeah. eggs. We had four that came back from all the testing and we were great, so that's 40 percent. Uh, so hopefully, we can do that again. That'll be good. Right. I guess that's better than having like 20 eggs and double the amount of pain and only getting, you know, maybe the same amount after, so. That's true. So, I'm good. I'm happy as long as it was the same amount. I'm good. good. I can't open my eyes too well, but I got some saltines and apple juice. Mmm, yummy. Uh -huh. and there's the apple juice over there. The yummy. After my C-section, my mouth was so dry. I was like begging for a piece of ice. Like I thought my mouth was, my throat was gonna like close up and I was gonna suffocate because my throat was so dry. But now I get crackers, I get juice, probably because I don't have stitches from being sliced open. And if I poop, it's not the world end of the world, but. Yeah, now you're gonna get your blood pressure taken again. Yeah, well, I'm used to that. Alright, um, well, relax and enjoy your crackers. Yeah, we'll know tomorrow how many fertilized. And last time, 10 out of 10 fertilized. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. So, we'll see. I'm hoping for some good news. So, it's been several hours since my surgery. I've just been hanging out on the couch, relaxing. Um, I took a really long nap, I just woke up, so excuse me if I look like awful right now. Um, <clears throat> I've been in um, some pain. At first they gave me some meds through my IV, so I was like, oh, I feel pretty good. This is better than last time. But then once those meds started to wear off, like I started to not feel very good. Um, I actually, like was almost right at the same level of pain and discomfort that I was at like two days after my um, C-section. So that's pretty crazy. <laughs> People said they go to work the next day after their egg retrieval. Like I just, I don't know how that happens. Like it's definitely gonna be like a couple days for me to get 100% because there's just a lot of um, just like pressure and like cramping and um, I put a heating pad on my stomach. That seems to help a little bit, but yeah, I don't just handle this like, you know, no problem. Like I feel like a lot of other people do, which is so weird because 
it was such an easy recovery from my c-section that you would think this would be also like super easy but like for some reason it's not i don't know why and i only had 10 eggs taken out so very strange so tomorrow morning I should have the fertilization report to see how many of my eggs were mature, how many fertilized. And I'm not super nervous um, because last time I had the same number of eggs. I had 10 and all 10 fertilized. So maybe I can get lucky again this time. It'd be so funny if I had the same exact numbers throughout this process. I, that's probably pretty unlikely. So anyways, um, I'm just gonna relax and I'm going to wait patiently for the doctor's call tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the day following my egg retrieval and as you can see, I've cleaned myself up a little bit, which means that I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I was feeling pretty crappy, like the peak of crappiness happened about 6 p.m. last night. And then when I went to bed and woke up, I honestly felt like pretty good. So I'm at about 80% um you know recovered right now so that actually did happen pretty quickly so anyways feeling good this morning when i woke up i had a voicemail from my doctor with the fertiliz fer i can never say this word fertilization report report um for the eggs and so he said that out of the 10 10 eggs they had retrieved eight of them were which were i can't talk gosh eight of them were mature and out of those eight, all eight of them fertilized. So that's basically 100% fertilization rate. And we used ICSI. I looked it up online, I was curious. Um, and I guess the rate for ICSI is around like 70 to 85%. So the fact that we had 100% fertilization, fertilization rate um, last time and this time, that's actually pretty cool. So we're off to a good start. The doctor was happy. I'm truthfully just a little bit nervous because at this point, last time I had 10 eggs, I had 10 retrieved, all 10 were mature. So now I'm already down two from last time. I'm a little nervous, but um, I don't know. I guess it only takes one good egg, so or one good embryo. Um, so now I have to wait a few more days so um, I can find out how many made it to day five. And from there, it will my embryos will go to the CCS testing, PGD, all these different acronyms, whatever, for, for the chromosome slash genetic testing that is done to determine if these embryos are chromosomally normal or abnormal and also to determine the gender. So I will be on pins and needles for the next few days and will update you guys um, as soon as I have some news.